I watched videos of people with locks washing their hair and they're always saying that it takes so long. I was like, it doesn't take me long at all. Here's the reason. I'm not really cleaning my hair the way it's supposed to be clean. Guys, guys this is Cran Cherry Juice. It's just like, this is the best type of cranberry juice I've ever had in my entire life. Like, this, this juice, period. Get it at your local Walmart. What's up guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I don't know what I do with my hair. It's like sort of a messy bun sort of type thing going on, but I'm vibing with it. Like, I really like it. Anyways, we're just gonna get into what this video is about. Basically, I've been leading you guys astray with some of the techniques I've been using to cleanse my locks. Yeah, basically my whole lock journey was like, I was doing everything wrong basically i'm not gonna say it was a lie because i did it but you know it wasn't good for my hair and let me tell you why i don't know if you can tell oh don't mind my gray hair because you know your girl is old she just turned 18 she's ancient anyways yeah basically i've been getting a lot of buildup in my locks how let me tell you so I did the apple cider vinegar rinse on my locks. Well, I didn't do it right because I didn't know how to wash my hair basically. I had to relearn how to wash my hair. Because after I did the apple cider vinegar rinse, everything was coming out, but while I was doing it, I didn't scrub my hair. I mean, I did like once, but I didn't go deep. I didn't do it the way I was supposed to do it. So like, it's a certain technique that you're supposed to do. That I didn't really pay attention to. A lot of people with locks know to wash their hair like this because you get the dirt and all that stuff out. You know, I wasn't really thinking about that. I really just get my scalp or like, I really just do like this, but that's not enough. I needed to like do like this, scrub my locks, especially while I'm doing apple cider vinegar rinse. So basically everything was just protruding out of my locks and you can tell that the buildup was present. It looked worse than what it looked like before. And I quickly hopped in the shower and I, after watching tons of videos on how to properly wash your locks, you're supposed to like, you know, scrub your locks. Like you're really supposed to get down deep in there. Especially since my locks are mature, I can easily just go in and do like that and not have to worry about them unraveling. So that's the main thing that I've been doing wrong. Guys, if you've been washing your locks like the way I've been washing my locks, start over. So basically I've been collecting buildup thinking I'm getting rid of my buildup while washing my hair, when in actuality, I'm just letting it sit. And usually it wouldn't even take me that long to wash my hair, like 15 minutes or less. I've watched videos of people with locks washing their hair and they're always saying that it takes so long. I was like, it doesn't take me long at all. Here's the reason. I'm not really cleaning my hair the way it's supposed to be clean. I think the Aztec healing clay mask, I don't think I'm supposed to be doing that on my locks simply because when I did do the apple cider vinegar rinse, I did discover more buildup than what seemed to be there before, I'm not sure. But it was like when I was squeezing my locks and I would pull it out, like do like that. It looked like the mask that was that I had did before. I'll roll the clip now. Guys and gals, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> I don't think you are, at least. I've seen a lot of people do that and have no problem with it, but me personally, I think it could be because of the my hair porosity. I think it's my hair porosity or something that my hair just absorbs a lot of stuff. And with me not washing my hair properly, that causes a lot of buildup. I've never had this problem as a loose natural. I will always like, it would take me longer as a loose natural because I would detangle, do all that stuff. But like, I never had a buildup problem ever until now and now i'm sitting here looking stupid you know waiting to write out this fresh retwist that i got two weeks ago i think so it's so nice like i've never had a retwist this bomb but i'm writing out this retwist until i do my apple cider vinegar rinse once again i'm gonna do it properly this time i've been holding back doing it because not only did i get a fresh retwist but it's just such a tedious job like you, you, you sitting like this, you laying back like this with your neck crooked and you have to do, it's just so much. Then you have to let it sit like that and then you have to scrub it up, dub. It's just, honey, baby. I'd rather the professionals do that, but like, we don't have that luxury like that, like that. Yeah. 
but anyways yeah i see it's like kind of doing the most my hair really right now but i kind of like that it's cute it's being free do what you want to do baby here but um what else have i been doing wrong um i know i did post my nighttime routine where i did wear a scarf to bed but that's something that i don't do often just because it's gonna come off anyways not only is it gonna come off anyways but it just really itches my head for some reason and my scarves are clean so because of that also i've been getting a lot of lint yeah that's not good at all for your hair <sighs> yeah so like lint is not a good thing to have in your locks obviously yeah and it does get stuck low-key and I was like is I tug at it or unravel something to get at it and that's not good because you can wind up you know on detangling your lock or like the lock can come loose because you never know what's you never know which strand of hair is holding that lock together so me pulling at it and like doing the most is just like really kind of damaging my locks and that's just something that I need to work on. I need to invest or find a better scarf that doesn't bother me at night. I say it's my whole lock journey that I've been doing wrong because you wash your hair your whole journey, hopefully, some people. And um, that's a very vital part of your journey. So I, that's why I said that's, a, it's been a lot because I haven't really been doing it the way you're supposed to do it. And on top of that, I've been getting braids after braids after braids. And with my braids, I like to put edge control on my scalp while I'm, before I do my rubber band method or just in general, when I just regularly do braids, I'll do it on like a, a lock and I'll put edge control on there. That build up as well with the regular build up that I was already getting from not properly washing my hair. So that's something you guys need to watch out for when you do have locks. Just like watch how you're washing your hair. Make sure you really get in there and don't be scared to do it because that's gonna mess you up in the long run like it's messed up with me even though you can't. Mm. tell with my locks if you look closely you'll see the build up and it just bothers me in general so i'm definitely going to get that fixed just make sure you're washing your hair correctly make sure you're not adding too much product to your hair for me when i retwist you guys know i use my oils that's the best method to use really to be honest i don't know i just really like using oils it makes me feel more close to my hair i don't know it's more natural natural based products always are the best for your hair so yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed if you have any lock questions leave them down below and i'll totally answer you guys should follow me on my social media my instagram is mike's wendy and it's right here you guys should go ahead and follow me oh wait Thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and peace.